What a beautiful day. Not really. <laughs> I'll leave it in a bag. I am in a public park. Ah, it is drizzly. But, you know, I don't have to worry about getting gold wet, do I? <laughs> ah. All right. Oh. <laughs> Here's a nice picture of them finding their uh, directioner. That their director, their compass. I don't know if you can make that out. <laughs> and there's a young Nephi shocking his brothers. Look, he's of large stature, though he's young. <laughs> ah. oh, my hands are wet. I'm holding this wet book. And it shall come to pass eh, that if the Gentiles shall hearken unto the Lamb of God in that day that he shall manifest himself unto them in word and also in power. In very deed, indeed, unto the taking away of their stumbling blocks. Which is nice, especially when the lights are out. You know, that veil of darkness shows up. Up the trip over and harden not their hearts against the Lamb of God. It was such a sweet Lamb. They shall be numbered among the seed of thy father, yea, they shall be numbered among the house of Israel, and they shall be a blessed people upon the promised land forever. They shall be no more brought down into captivity, and the house of Israel shall no more be confounded. And that great pit which hath been digged for them by the great and abominable church which was founded by the devil and his children that he might lead away the souls of men down to hell, yea, that great pit which which hath been digged for the destruction of men shall be filled shall be filled by those who digged it unto their utter destruction saith the lamb of god not the destruction of the soul save it be the casting of it into that hell which hath no end. For behold, this is according to the captivity of the devil, and also according to the justice of God, upon all those who would work wickedness and abominations before him. Fucking get drizzled on. I wanted to do an outdoor video. I heard of doing indoor videos. But my book's getting wet. It's probably a bad idea. <sighs> and it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, Nephi, saying, Thou hast beheld that if the Gentiles repent, it shall be well with them. And thou also knowest concerning the covenants of the Lord unto the house of Israel. And thou also hast heard that whoso repenteth not must perish. Therefore we, wait, therefore woe be unto the Gentiles if it be that they harden their hearts against the Lamb of God. For the time cometh, saith the Lamb of God, that I will work a great and marvelous work among the children of men, a work which shall be everlasting, either 
on the one hand or on the other. Either to the convincing of them unto peace and life eternal, or to the hardness of their hearts and the blindness of their minds, unto their being brought down into captivity, or destroyed, uh, and also into destruction, both temporarily, temporally, temporally, and spiritually, so physical and all that made up metaphysical shit, uh, according to the captivity of the devil, of which I have spoken. And it came to pass that when the angel had spoken these words, he said unto me, Rememberest thou the covenants of the father of the house of Israel? I said unto him, Yea, because it was sort of a dumb question. Of course he knows. He already said he knows. <laughs> Isn't this angel paying attention? <sighs> And it came to pass that, and it came to pass that he said unto me, "Look, and I beheld that great and abominable church, which he saw before, which is a mother of abominations, whose foundation is the devil." Wow, this is like exactly what he said in the last chapter, and in earlier verses. <sighs> Well, I, uh, it started raining. <laughs> I had to get out of the park. <laughs> but I like what I saw, so that I'll just combine the two. <sighs> Good thing this book's made of gold. Although it is a little wrinkly now. Uh, oh, well, it's my book. I think I'm at verse 9. Nope, I read verse 9. I'm at verse 10 of the 14th chapter of First Nephi. And he said unto me, Behold, behold, there and save. Wait, yeah. He said unto me, Behold, there are save two churches only. Because we got to sound all antique and old-fashioned and archaic and cryptic. <sighs> the, the one church, the one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is the church of the devil. Wherefore, whoso belongeth not to the church of the Lamb of God, belongeth to the great, to that great church, which is the mother of abominations. And she is the whore of all the earth, and we hate her. We hate her. Like, biatch. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the whore of all the earth, and she sat upon many waters. And she had dominion over all the earth among all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people. And it came to pass that I beheld the church of the Lamb of God, and its numbers were few, oh. because of the wickedness and abominations of the whore, who sat upon many waters. <laughs> Nevertheless, I beheld that the church of the Lamb, who are the saints of God, 
were also upon all the face of the earth, and their dominions upon the face of the earth were small because of the wickedness of the great horn whom he, I saw. Much repetition. And it came to pass that I beheld that the great mother of abominations, God, can you get any more anti-female? did gather together multitudes upon the face of all the earth among all the nations of the Gentiles to fight against the Lamb of God. Boy, that abomination, mother whore church. Sounds like a pretty lousy church. I wonder who they're talking about. Probably not that church uh, in Salt Lake City, I'll bet. And it came to pass that I, Nephi, beheld the power of the Lamb of God, that it descended upon the saints of the church of the Lamb, and upon the covenant, wait, and upon the covenant people of the Lord who were scattered upon the face of the earth, and they were armed with righteousness and with the power of God in great glory. And it came to pass that I beheld that the wrath of God was poured out upon the great and abominable church, insomuch that there were wars and rumors of wars among all the nations and kindreds of the earth. <clears throat> and as there began to became began to be wars and rumors of wars among all nations, which belong to the mother of abominations, the angel spake unto me, saying, Behold, the wrath of God is upon the mother of harlots. And behold, thou, see, thou seest all these things. Well, thanks for filling us in. And when the day cometh that the wrath of God is poured out upon the mother of harlots, which is the great and abominable church of all the earth, whose foundation is the devil, then at that day the work of the Father shall commence in preparing the way for the fulfilling of his covenants, which he hath made to his people who are of the house of Israel. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me, saying, Look! And I looked, and beheld a man, and he was dressed in a in a white robe, but he was a different man in a white robe this time. Sorry, I didn't want to spoil it for you, but it was a little confusing at first for me. And the angel said unto me, Behold, one of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Behold, he shall see and write the remainder of the things, yea, and also many things which have been. And he shall also write concerning the end of the world, which is about five months from now, almost six months. <sighs> Wherefore, the things which he shall write are just and true. And behold, they are written in the book which thou beheld proceeding out of the mouth of a Jew, mouth of the Jew. And 
at the time they proceeded out of the mouth of the Jew, or at the time the book proceeded out of the mouth of the Jew, or at the time the pre wait, wait, wait. the thing the Things which were written were plain and pure, and most precious and easy to the understanding of all men. Like they said in the last chapter. And behold, the things which this apostle, so it's an apostle, it's one of the twelve, this guy in a robe, uh, this apostle the Lamb shall write, uh, wait, and behold, the things which this, this apostle of the Lamb shall write are many things which thou hast seen, and beheld, the remainder shalt, be, shalt thou see. But the things which thou shalt see hereafter, thou shalt not write. For the Lord God hath ordained the apostle of the Lamb of God, that he should write them. I don't want to give it away, but... Uh, this is good. And also, others who have been, to them have he sworn all things, and they have written them, and they are sealed up to come forth in their purity. Solid gold, baby. In their purity. <laughs> oh, I lost my space. I lost my place. Oh, in their purity, according to the truth which is in the Lamb, in the own due time of the Lord unto the house of Israel. And I, Nephi, heard and bear record that the name of the apostle of the Lamb was John according to the word of the angel. And I beheld, I, Nephi. So, so he's saying that the guy who wrote the book of Revelation is the Apostle John. And also the guy who wrote the epistles. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't write alike. None of them. They're all different guys. <laughs> but I guess, you know, well, who are you going to believe, right? Uh, yeah, behold, his name was John. Where the fuck did, did I? I lost my space again. <sighs> yeah, John, according to the word of the angel, now I, Nephi, am forbidden that I should write the remainder of the things which I saw and heard. Wherefore, the things which I have written sufficeth sufficeth me, and I have written but a small part of the things which I saw. A lot of useless verbiage there, then. That was... It's like, I know something, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> and I bear record that I saw the things which my father saw, and the angel of the Lord did make make them known unto me, and now I make an end of speaking concerning the things which I saw while I was carried away in the Spirit. And if all the things which I saw are not written, the things which I have written are true. And thus it is. Take it or leave it. Amen. Chapter 14 was a bitch. <laughs> anyway, he that's he finally finished his three-part hallucination. And I hope you enjoyed chapter 14. Peace out. I hope you're having a better weather than I am.